y'all welcome back to miss prissy tv so i will be laying out this mug and it's a girl with locks and i'm putting this on top of surface vinyl so you will need a mug you will need some type of um picture that you want to use to bling out i'm using my pick me up tool my e6000 glue as y'all know i always keep like some type of um paper towel around by me um using black ss16 stones and orange ss16 stones right now my I, my plan is just to bling out the locks but i'm gonna have it two-tone kind of like how mine are uh don't know if i'm gonna add anything to the lips and um, and I have my trays. I love these trays. I'm gonna pour some inside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the black part up here. I'm gonna do majority of the hair will be black. And normally I spread it on like this, I'll make sure to cover of the E6000 because it spills out and then I smooth it through. So this is this has been one thing that I've been making lately. I find uh, joy out of it. Before this video is over, I will show you some of my other creations that I did with these mugs. And I'm just placing them hand placing them this is very relaxing to me that's why I enjoy doing it I actually want to get some other stones out. I have the black stones in another size I'm not sure which millimeter this is I cannot recall this is mixed but the other ones I got these for free from someone that I purchased some stones from so I appreciate that and as you continue to do this you'll learn which size stones you need for whatever project you're working on I learned that's how I learned so I started out with like the mixed sizes first and then as I became more knowledgeable about them I said oh okay I know which size to get now and again these um little trays have ridges in it so if the stones are flipped over all you have to do is shape them and they flip over not all of them of course but they will flip over when you need them to i have a lot inside of here so but yeah i, I enjoy doing this because it's just relaxing to me and then like just seeing creations that that you yourself did like i can't believe i made this some of me find it corny i've had people ask me why do you do that um i do it because i enjoy doing it i'm doing what i love to do so that's what keeps me you know going and making it because people like it people buy it And it's just something that I enjoy. And that's what you have to do in life. You have to do what you love. As long as you're not hurting anyone or doing anything illegal. Do whatever it is that you love to do. Especially if it's giving you income. And 
people say, wow, you have a lot of time on your hands. That is That takes a lot of um, patience. Yeah, and it's funny because I don't think I have patience. But I guess I have patience for this because I enjoy it. It's just crazy. I, I really feel like I don't have patience. But maybe I do. I don't know. See, it's black on black, so you can't really tell until you're, like, up close. Or if I take a video of it, you'll see, like, the it kind of gives it, like, it has a texture to it. So, when I first made it, I thought it was really unique and dope at the same time. So, if anyone would like to purchase any of the mugs that I made similar to this or any handcrafted creation that I made, you can visit www.symphoniestreasures.com. You can also go to Symphonies Treasures on Etsy because I still have my shop open on Etsy as well. You can check me out on Instagram at Symphonies Treasures. And please don't forget the S. Everyone forgets the S when I'm telling them the name of my, um, my business. You don't have to use a whole lot of this E6000 glue. A little goes a long way. And then you don't want the, the glue to start pushing up through the um, stones, making it look sloppy and gooky. Well, I don't know if that's a word, but that's the word I use.
So these are also some other mugs that I made. This one says entrepreneur. It's a hashtag. I also do monogram. This is the finished product of that one that you saw me working on. And these mugs, the actual mug is dishwasher safe and microwave safe. But of course, once I add the stones on, you don't want to do either of the two. You want to just rinse out and wash. And I also send uh, care instructions with it. Um, so definitely do not wash the mug. Do not submerge it in water. Rinse the mug out right after. And do not put it in a microwave. So guys, that is today's video. It's a DIY on a blinged out mug. Comment, like, subscribe. Be sure to visit my website at www.symphonystreasures.com. Subscribe to my email list you get 10 percent off of one item follow me on instagram at symphonies treasures have your own style pal i'm out peace